Hi, this is Gerd Melak from seoleverage.com and today we are going to revise another website in our series. If you're interested in these kinds of revisions, check out the others. We're going to link to them in the notes down below. And if you're interested in improving your SEO and your online business in general, hit the subscribe button down below and follow our channel. We put out a new video every Thursday. So this is going to help you grow your business. You're going to get some insights that you're going to be able to apply to your site as well. And whenever you have a doubt and want to reach out to us, head over to seoleverage.com. The site I would like to check out today is saltstrong.com. I'm not personally too much into phishing. Um, I did my phishing experiences and tests when I was younger, uh, but I researched the other day what phishing sites are ranking and what kind of memberships are out there around phishing sites. And I came across Salt Strong as one of the main uh, players in this field. And first of all, I have to say, I really like this site. I'm not related to them in any way. Uh, guys, if you want some help, reach out. Um, but I have to say, I really like the site. I like the design, I like their approach. They have a very personalized approach, care a lot about their, uh, I think, 20,000, 25,000 members. So definitely, if you're into phishing, <laughs> check out this website. I'm going to put my glasses on and we check out a few details about the website over on hrefs.com, one of our most used SEO tools here. Cool. So let's head over to SSI Explorer on hrefs.com, put in saltstrong.com, uh, check out URL rating 25, domain rating 55, 34,000 backlinks from 3,000 domains, 50,000 keywords they're ranking for and growing. Um, we can see overall referring domains. We can see big growth uh, in the number of referring domains since April 2021. So there's something definitely to look at. Are these links natural? Is there any, any link billing going on? Anything obvious that uh, could be an issue. And then when we go over to organic research, organic search, we can see this has been evolving over quite a few years with its up and, up and, ups and downs. This is uh, okay. But then when we check out the last year, things seem to have shifted a little bit, pretty stagnant until May. And then with the June core update, uh, things dropped quite a bit. July didn't really bring them back. And now the site seems to be struggling a little bit to try to move things back up. We see the number of page one ranking domain uh, keywords here also drastically going down with the July June update. And July only brought a fraction of them back. In terms of markets, we see this is mostly ranking in the United States, but also Australia and Canada you know, send some traffic here, which is great. Let's also now check in what this traffic depends upon. So I really like these two features here at Ahrefs that are called top sub folders and top pages, which essentially gives us an idea where the traffic comes from. So we can see that most of the traffic uh, really comes from the homepage, articles, and phishing tip. Uh, and then there are some subfolders uh, below articles that seem to be driving major traffic. We see very high search volumes ranking in very nice places here, which is amazing. So this really shows us there's a lot of work that has been going into this website over the years, and it's definitely paying off for saltstrong.com. So definitely great work. When we dive, drill down here a little bit and say, what are the top pages really driving traffic? We can see most of the traffic obviously comes to the homepage with such a strong brand. So many people searching for this brand every month. Uh, we're going to see this here also further down below. Uh, Salt Strong, uh, so, Saltwater River is was a different one. Salt Strong comes up with different URLs with as well, specifically with the membership URL, who ranks it at, at times. So it tries to rank different things all on number one, which is great. Um, then in terms of articles, we see a heavy dependence on a handful of articles. And this is always important that you know what your traffic depends upon. So if this is, for example, uh, this FG knot uh, that gets 13,000 searches is uh, sitting on number one inside the image pack. We have group of recipes. We have strongest fishing knot. So very relevant terms in very good places. But we do see a strong dependence on um, essentially four article, five articles that are ranking really, really, um, really well, or some of them could be improved, but still get quite some traffic. And uh, then it really goes down. So 
I, the idea would be to make sure that more of the main uh, content items get into these top spots, driving major traffic to balance out the dependence on only a handful of articles here a little bit. While sitting here in Ahrefs, let's also check out one of the main traffic driving articles for a moment. Uh, how to tie FG not fastest method, free cheat sheet PDF, updated date, uh, found in quite a few um, seem to be categories here, 500 comments, amazing engagement on this website. Congrats to uh, the founders on this one. Fastest way to have to achieve that, FT not, okay. So to explain how the knot works, there is a tutorial on the video and another video. Some samples, images load when scrolling down on a lazy loading basis, which is good. Another video, another video, conclusion, and then the comments. So I think the structure is really, really nice. The only thing I would probably add here for better user experience would be a some, some sort of table of contents towards the top, maybe after the second or third paragraph makes sense to put in the table of contents so people can jump maybe directly to the video, can jump directly to the section they are interested in and um, get a good feeling of what this is doing. Also for videos, when you have multiple videos embedded on a page, sometimes it's a good idea to just embed an image and then when you click, you open up in a different window the YouTube video because otherwise the, set, the page needs to load all this YouTube code at the same time, which can make it the, the page feel a little bit slow. So I would probably recommend um, thinking about how many how the videos can be embedded and if this can speed up the user experience here. So when we are on this page now, let's also check out some URLs that are doing pretty well but could do much better in order to drive more traffic. So I'm searching for keywords specifically positioned on ranking 11 to 20, which in most cases is going to be on page two. So for example, uh, something that catches my eye here is the uni knot, especially because it has a search volume of 27,000. Uh, the page just made it uh, from page two to page one, apparently. So let's uh, check out what this page looks like. What catches our eye definitely is automatically the date. So I think there is going to be some value in just refreshing articles that have been around for a while, just also visually for, for the user first, but also Google usually likes updated content, content that gets updated regularly and improved. And then you can also set the date forward. Users are going to see this is updated information and it's going to provide more value in this case. Also interesting, this gets 15 comments. The other not we saw before got 500. So maybe this is not as common. I'm not a fishing expert, but definitely we see a very big difference here uh, with the date, with the um, performance of this article in particular and the ranking. Probably definitely something we would want to look into, see if there is anything based on internal linking, external linking competitors that we could find in order to drive more traffic to this specific article. And obviously from the article then, um, down to the membership. So before we switch over to the mobile version of this, uh, just one more comment. I'm personally not convinced from a user experience point of view about this menu item here in the desktop view. I think it gets lost. People might not be finding it. I think if you had some sort of other or something like this here uh, or, some, or have the button, the menu button or, or menu in general, something towards the left hand side it would be much easier for users to figure out what, um, how to navigate this site. And then there are also uh, some items that are here anyway, are coming here, up here again. Uh, it, it's nice. it looks nice on a mobile phone. I agree with this one. On a desktop, I think the header could be uh, presented in a different way. There could be a premium um, level or something like this, premium menu that has the community or discount products, etc. So I think there's a better way to use solve this on a desktop. On a mobile phone, I do think this looks really, really nice. It's intuitive enough for people to figure out and definitely has its purpose here. So in the mobile view, and I'm going to hide my camera here a little bit for this section, uh, we can uh, see they have joined a club call to action, guarantees you'll catch more, definitely what every user is going to want here. We scroll down, there's a lot of structure here. Um, I try to avoid two long paragraphs here where I have to scroll and I don't know for how long this goes. So maybe this can be shrinked down for mobiles a little bit. We scroll down, no big spaces, no huge 
um, spaces, huge blocks. Apart from these text blocks, these could probably be a little bit shorter, but this really makes a lot of sense. Uh, it lazy loads the images, which is fine as well. So little to say here, the header is perfect. The footer probably could be cleaned up a little bit to make it look more structured, maybe in two columns or something like this, but really nice mobile um, design friendly as well. Let's check out an article around our fishing tip here when we see this on a mobile phone. So here we have the list where I was saying before this could probably be structured and some uh, pillar articles organizing the content. I can click through to a category uh, to an article specifically, can navigate the article, can see everything nicely. Uh, what I really like is that podcast episodes here uh, get embedded into also a written form. Some sites only do transcriptions or brief summaries, but here it's just one piece that's put together with a lot of information, definitely based on what we also recommend. So very nice work here on the mobile version. So now we are on Google. I just Googled the brand here, Salt Strong. We see this comes up with nice site links, member login, fishing club, products, fishing knots, online fishing course. So definitely site links that make a lot of sense. These get uh, pulled algorithmically. So based on some hints, Google is going to put those up algorithmically and with internal linking, they can definitely be impacted in case when you search for your brand and some completely unrelated links come up here, like legal services, terms and services, etc. We've seen those things. Then definitely internal linking needs some work. When you search for the brand, we can also see Fish Strong, which um, is the brand's online store apparently and sits on a different domain and should be audited itself. It has to follow the same template, but definitely sitting on a, on a different domain. But Google seems to be having figured out the connection between the two. Also, they have a YouTube channel with 200,000 subscribers. So Google also brings with the brand the YouTube channel, YouTube result here as well. So very nice branded result on page one. You can see people search for the store, search for their app, search for not specifically reviews, logins. I think the not probably is are something that can be explored as a main topic to really focus on on the website as well to attract more organic traffic depending on how much it converts. The next thing we want to do on Google is do a site saltstrong.com and check what kind of pages Google has indexed here. Something that comes automatically to mind is the settings page. This is not something intended for Google and shouldn't even come up. So this is something that they can definitely uh, just no index, get rid of it, and Google can focus on things that actually move the needle. We have an article section here, F saltwater fishing tips. Interesting here, this is pretty much is exactly the same as the forward slash fishing tips. So we have the forward slash articles and the forward slash fishing tips bring up the same thing. Uh, let's double check if there is any canonical uh, definition here. Salt strong forward slash articles. So this is a potential issue. I would uh, just quickly say where the forward slash articles and the fishing forward slash fishing tips present the exact same results. This can be easily resolved with a redirect or yeah, probably a redirect just to make sure that everything is called fishing tips rather than articles. And that's fine then. Um, also because let's just double check salt strong social media manager. And let's try quickly something. If we substitute here the articles with fishing tips, okay, we have the 404 tested as well. Fishing tips doesn't work. So there's definitely uh, an interesting connection here. We have this articles, Salt Strong Social Media Manager. So I can also click on fishing tips, which would be forward slash fishing tips then social media manager, and I get to the article section. Okay, this means they have, and the fishing tips is the front page, but every article internally then seems to be called forward slash articles, which is okay. I would just then get rid of the overall um, forward slash articles, probably, or have the fishing tips directly linked to the forward slash articles. Just do not have this page duplicated. The rest seems to be organized well. So that's fine as well. Let's go back and see what else we can find. Remote social, remote help sessions in a start moment. Okay. Just really looking for some hints that might indicate there's something to do. We can see 
meta description is not always really optimized. Sometimes also it's too long, it gets cut off, it doesn't have a compelling view. So if this search result um, comes up, there's probably a more compelling, more shorter way to do this. And we can also see that quite some content is outdated and would need a refresh in order to be brought back to 2021 right now with the styling and um, would then probably also attract more traffic right away. Let's see what articles looked like when they came from 2015. So this one, for example, Google still has it indexed, but apparently it doesn't um, exist anymore. So also definitely something we might want to need check out here and see if there are any appropriate redirects that can put in that can be put in. Then we have insider reports here, filter reports, the reports, this is definitely not a layout we want. So just looking at these things, we already see there are pages, not every page that's indexed is a page we actually probably want. There are pages that sit around but are not intended for search. And this is probably a very good starting point on this website in order to discover untapped potential. So searchdrawing.com uh, has been a pleasure checking out this website. I just can't help sometimes when I see uh, quite a few things that could be done better or I find a website I really like. I want to know how they um, these guys perform in search as well and what they could be done doing better. If you like this series, subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be making a point in doing these reviews more often just so that you think, know what the thought process could be when optimizing a website, not only for SEO, but also for conversions. There are quite a few things I've seen on this website that could be done for better conversions as well, especially on mobile phones. So always make sure that your SEO is in line with your overall strategy and really supports you getting to your business goals. My name is Gerd Melak. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you think we should be doing more of these or leave me a comment on what you would want to see or if there is a particular site you would want me to check out. Thank you.